Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Spas Apple and on this video I'm going to make my full review of the Mint 2014 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and get started. So before starting the review, I would like to let you know that I've been using this computer for pretty much a month and I'm finally ready to uh, talk about my full, make my full review and say my first impressions about this computer. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start with the design. The 13 inch MacBook Pro has a beautiful, beautiful design. It's got that beautiful aluminum unibody design, which is looking pretty nice. It feels pretty premium and I like it a lot. Now on the left hand side, you're gonna find a MagSafe port along with two Thunderbolt ports, a USB 3.0 port, and a headphone jack as well the dual microphone system at the right hand side you're gonna find another usb 3.0 port an hdmi port and the sd card slot and when you flip it up at the back you will notice the apple logo that it's glowing when you turn on the machine lifting up the display you will notice the beautiful trackpad and keyboard from apple and the, the keyboard does have backlight so it looks really beautiful and the beautiful multi-touch trackpad it does have some really nice gestures and it works great in my opinion and this is actually the best trackpad you can find on a laptop today so you can't talk about the retina display macbook pro without talking about that retina display so the macbook pro with retina display comes with a 13 inch retina display a resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels and I will probably say this is one of the best displays you can find out there. Pictures, text, editing, video, photo editing, web browsing, everything just looks much clearer than another panel. So I can't really show you 100% uh, how this display, how beautiful this display is, but uh, you can actually go ahead and check it out through a store and see how this beautiful retina display performs and believe me when you see retina it's kind of really hard to go back to a non-retina display now what's running inside this computer you're gonna find the intel core dual core i5 processor with 8 gigs of ram 120 gigs of ssd and an intel iris graphics let's talk about the operating system and this is running os 10 mavericks by the time of filming this video and i'll probably say that mavericks is a really really nice system it does have all the features that Mac has and yeah it's looking pretty nice it performs really fast and I don't have any issue at all with this computer at all and uh, yeah OS and Mavericks it's a really nice system now let's talk about the camera the camera of this MacBook Pro is nothing really special it's the FaceTime HD camera which is capable of recording at 720p HD video and it's really okay for uh, things like Skype or FaceTime calls, so it's a really nice camera and I like it Now last but not least let's talk about the battery life and I will probably say that the battery life is one of the best things about this computer I can nearly use this computer without uh, Charging it through a day, so it's a really really nice uh, battery now in regular use this battery can actually uh, keep the computer on for around eight to nine hours and on some heavy tasks tasks like video editing and gaming this macbook pro can actually be on still on with on battery for around four hours now speaking for gaming this macbook pro is not a gaming computer at all but it can actually perform really nice i can play minecraft i can play league of legends and stuff like that without any problem so yeah the only problem about this computer on when you play games the fan starts to kick up a lot and it sucks a bit because it gets real warm anyway guys thanks for watching this video make sure you subscribe and hit the, thumb, the thumbs up button that helps me a lot and i will catch you in the next one peace